What's up you guys, it's Nesh, and let's talk. So from time to time I get these questions and they go a little bit like, do you do collabs? Do you do TFP, which is time for pictures? Or statements like, we should shoot. I gotta shoot with you. And at this point, I'm like, collabs? Collabs? Drake! Don't get it twisted, collabing is great, but you have to make the collabs count. The collabs have to benefit all parties that's involved. Meaning, they have to benefit the model, the makeup artist, the hairstylist, and whoever else is involved with the shoot. But ultimately, as a photographer, they need to benefit you. As of lately, people have been hitting me up asking me, do I do test shoots? And I'm like, yeah, but what are we really testing? Because, you know, I didn't really buy any more equipment and you know I'm gonna give you some lit work, so you kinda just want a free shoe, right? You know what I'm saying? I get it, but. No, 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 no. <laughs> at this stage in the game, for me personally, I'm not really too open to doing a lot of free things unless everybody chips in. So that way it's not just free for you. You get what I'm saying? Perfect example, at one point I had a studio, but now I don't have a studio. So now when I do my collabs or my test shoots, quote unquote, everybody has to chip in for studio costs or whatever costs there are. That way it feels like a collaborative effort. You get what I'm saying? At the end of it all, you end up feeling used up and you end up feeling tired. And then everybody's just like, where's my pictures? Where's my pictures? Where's my pictures? And you're like, chill. So again, collabing is cool. Collabing is great but it has to be beneficial and it has to actually feel like a collaborative effort and not just one person just pulling all the strings because you'll end up feeling really tired and really exhausted after all of it and all of the work will be on you after everybody's respective jobs are done. So just make sure it's, it's, it's beneficial for you and make sure everybody's actually chipping in. You know what I'm saying? They are, but chipping a little more. You get what I'm saying? Now I will say this, if you're starting out, if you're brand new to the game, if you're trying to get your feet wet, if you're trying to find your style, Collab for free. Collab, collab, collab for free. I'm not saying that shoot everybody for free, but make sure that you know uh, you're gonna get some good work out of it that you're gonna feel proud posting. You don't wanna collab and at the end of it all, you're looking at photos and you're like, damn, I don't like this. I don't like this, I don't like this, because then it ends up being a waste of time. Going back to what I said before, when you collab, it needs to fall in the lines of what you ultimately wanna shoot. So I'm a beauty photographer. So when I collab with people or when I shoot people for free or whatever, or lower rate, whatever, that work is gonna be conducive to my beauty portfolio. I'm not gonna shoot a bunch of fashion if I'm, a, if I'm primarily a beauty photographer. Now, it might be beneficial for me, which leads me to my next point. It might be beneficial for me, but at the same time, it still needs to fall in the same lines of what I'm trying to promote and what I'm trying to get more business of. Now, I'm not gonna sit and tell you what you should collab with and what you shouldn't collab with because everything is a step in the right direction, whether it, whether it's good or bad, because you'll learn a lot about yourself and you'll learn a lot about what you should and shouldn't do, and then you'll learn a lot about what works for you and what doesn't work for you. But ultimately, you never wanna feel like you're doing too much work for too little. I don't, I don't know the word I was trying to put right there, but you get what I'm saying. You know what I meant, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta understand, when you collab, it is ultimately your time as a photographer to try out new things, practice, find your flow and your rhythm. So take your time with it, don't rush it. And ultimately, like I said, you have to make sure that it's benefiting you ultimately. You have to grow from it. And I keep saying ultimately, but ultimately, it needs to ultimately benefit you, ultimately. You get what I'm saying? I keep saying that too, you get what I'm saying? But you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Very big on coming together and you're making this big old megazord of you know what I'm saying just what? What? just mental diarrhea and just fire fire just fire you know what I'm saying just fire but again if you're new starting out collab until you can't collab anymore pull the shutter on so you can't pull the shutter anymore and get your feet wet that's about it hope you guys enjoyed that and um Go out there and collab, build with others, connect with others, but at the same time, make sure it benefits who? Yeah. All right. Finesse the shots out. You know what I'm saying? Finesse the world. Pull up gang shit. And that's about it. You know what I'm saying? Go collab. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs>